Hello and welcome, this is STR8. Today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try an ant deck again. And uh, we're going to try to get 60 points. So um, I'm thinking about trying the more difficult route. And um, let's see, what else can we do? No boss rares, perhaps. And that would leave us with only 15 points to get. So let's do boss totems. And no idea how hard this is going to be, but we'll see. The insect deck can be pretty overpowered if we get lucky, so let's see what happens here today. Okay, um, let's start with a wolf cub, and how about a warren, and perhaps we'll put the um, Warren sigil on something else here in a little bit. Oh, good. We can get Fledgling as our sigil. If I had that and put it on insects, um, we could get Mantis Gods and other things pretty easily. That would be cool. Okay, a B is incoming. Let's do about a flying ant in front of it just for fun. Alright, now I can do a warren and uh, we'll sacrifice it for an ant queen. There we go. And we can get down a worker ant. sending out a rush of bees to me, so that's fun. Alright, let's see. Um, how about we get the beehive and start powering something up since we still have all three of our items. What could we give more health? Well, how about the beehive? Okay. We'll withdraw to generate potentially a couple of bees for us. Okay, Skink is coming after us. Um, let's get our Warren down and um, that'll produce us a rabbit and we can get an ant queen started and we'll put it in front of our um, Skink. for one special there on the damage. And now we can get a flying ant down. I think that'll be enough damage to uh, bring us um, to the tippy top there. Good. Alright. Um, let's see. Do we want to go to the woodcarver or head up for enhancing another creature? Um, I guess let's head towards the woodcarver because getting that fledgling symbol on just about anything be pretty nice. Especially if I get it on the insects, it'd be really hard to stop me. Perfect. Oh, and I saw the apple symbol too. That would be nice for her. Uh, if I got something super buffed and had to sacrifice it, um, that would be cool. Okay. So now we have some cards that are going to grow stronger along with us. Um, let's say we put down our wolf cub in the starter and um, we'll go from there. Okay, wolf cub should take out that row or column rather. Okay, now we're going to get an ant queen out of our flying one. I didn't know that that's how it worked. At least, if I did, I forgot. Okay, now we can play another ant queen. 
and we'll also get stronger. So that's awesome. Okay. Oh, and an elder ant queen. Nice. So here we go. Wow, it's gonna be a ton of power. And we're gonna have an elder working ant, worker ant. I assume it becomes an elder. No, it becomes an ant queen as well. Nice. I was unaware. This is great. I think that I'm on a good path here. Um, I think I might have enough teeth that I could do a trade in. Um, however, I think I'll go this route so that I can do two power up events. I'll just go ahead and do the middle. Okay. Sweet. some attack power, or skunk, or a wolf cub. Um, I'm going to do the beehive. I'd love to generate a few ants, so we'll just back away. Or not ants, <laughs> bees. Okay. Bees, Louise! It'll be good having the um, bees potentially become um, more powerful as well after a turn, so I think we might as well keep the beehive from getting upgraded. So if we can keep those bees of sprouting, we'll have a, just about an unrelenting army, I think. Time for the angler. Come on, angler. I'm guessing it's going to toss out a bait bucket right away. Or maybe even just a great white just to Show me who's boss. Alright, Kingfisher. Um, I guess we'll just put us a flying ant in front of the Kingfisher. And could sacrifice something else to get, um, let's say, a Warren started or something. Um, let's see. Maybe just hold off the. Okay, there's our Kingfisher. And we do need to play something, so um, we could drag over the Golden Pelt um, and see what happens with that. There we go. see about getting something else played. Um, perhaps the beehive. Okay. Okay. And we need to get another card down, so let's just play our Warren, and that will drag away his other Kingfisher and leave us blocked in the meanwhile. Um, or leave him blocked, really. So, there we go. And this should give me enough time to draw a couple of cards before we get to the next phase. At least one card. Alright. So we need to get some serious power started here. Um, let's get our wolf cub on the board. And um, from there. So the Great White will be able to get that one twice, and the Green's going to go away immediately. Uh, the Elder Beehive is actually going to take out the Great White, or it would if it could hit it, I suppose. Alright, Flying Ant and a Bee. Um, let's do the Flying Ant so it'll become an Ant Queen. And, um, I guess, let's just put the B down to get damage, and that'll be enough for us to win the round, I think. There we go. We already have enough tea that if we go to the, teeth, that if we go to the trapper, we should be get, able to get a few pelts. Ooh, I had a hard time speaking today. Okay. Ooh, a millworm. 
I put that sigil on the beehive and sacrificed it, that could be a nice backup. So we'll take it for uh, holding on to for the future. Okay, a cave event, an item event. Um, looks like another cave event further up. I think I'm gonna go maybe to the right. I only have one pelt to tra trade in though, so I could have two cave events instead. It could go well, and I can get a pack rat, so let's go to the left, actually. Three sigils, four power, six health. I'm gonna go with, let's see, golden pelt could block it. I think everything else has a sigil, so just this two sigil. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Oh, that's it. It blocked us. Oh well. Yeah, this might be hard to win. I may have made a uh, mistake going the route of the cave events, but maybe the next one won't be quite as hard to pass. We did just now get a, another creature that has a sigil on it too, so that improves our odds a little bit. Okay. Let's see. I guess let's get the beehive down first. And, um, yeah. Wild bull will do a number on it. That's okay. Getting a bee out of this um, trade is pretty nice. Um, we can get the warren down. Get a millworm. Um, let's see. How about we get the bee down over here? And that'll be it. <laughs> the beehive took out the bull there. That's hilarious. Okay. I think we'll just keep what we have here going. There we go. Yeah, I think I have a pretty good chance here is what I've got going. As long as I play carefully feeling pretty confident. Alright, four power, two of a kind, two of a kind. Surely we'll win that one. Okay, good. That makes up for missing our other one. Okay. Rat King has fledgling on it and burrower. An alpha has guardian and sprinter and a moose buck with double strike and touch of death. I think that's a no-brainer. That's so powerful. If I can get that on the board, um, I'll kill anything in a hit and do three more damage. So wow, that's just unbelievable. Alright, um, two health. Could we add that to... Could put it on our beehive and just have that blocker to you know, get strong. Could put it on our millworm and... You know, once they get sacrificed, something else get a, gets a boost at four. Um, I think I'll do that because that could be something a bit of a lifesaver. Our beehive is looking good, but you know, we gotta. I don't want to rely too much on having to draw that in any particular match. You know? So let's see what we get. Okay. A Warren, a pack rat, and a millworm. Um. I think let's go ahead and get out this and we'll draw our pack rat so we can take out one of the elk pawns and maybe block the other one with a warren or something once I have enough. The mealworm can join in on the fun too. So let's do um, pack rat on the board. I'll get another item and now we can play the mealworm over here. And I think that'll have decent results overall. So it's going to get stronger too. We'll take out um, both of the elk fawns in this lane. Or actually the one, I suppose. Okay. And we now have a skunk and um, a warren. It's not a great situation. Let's go ahead and pull our tooth. And... Uh, we're gonna get plus two, the elk pawns will be gone, we're gonna lose our pack rat, and we're gonna get like 
an elder fawn um, started. So I'm tempted to pull it, but I think that we're just going to have to see what happens here. I don't want to waste too many items when I still have both of my candles, after all. Okay. Um, could block off the porcupine's attack. Um, or we could play the warren and block the elk for a turn. And also get a rabbit out of it. Um, perhaps that is a good way of doing it, because then we could also get the skunk on the board to block even more energy, and might be okay for at least a moment or two. Ah, the wolf cub. Good. So we can place it in front of nothing really. Um, I guess we could put it, use a millworm actually, and strike out the elk for a hit, um, and it will get it on its second turn. There we go. Oh, awesome, blocking some energy. Wow, okay. I think it, we're going to be able to turn this around now. Okay, got to hit him hard here, Wolf. We're counting on you. Okay. Alright, what else do we have? Nothing yet. At least the Ant Queen did a good hit. Ah, oh, here's our super strong Moose Buck. Um, I think it'll be worth taking out the Skunk, the Squirrel, and the Ant Queen for it. And uh, we could go ahead and get rid of our Elk issue we're having here. And I think that's going to win the match. Nice. Alright, do we want to do a Sigil Swap? Um, looks like we have two out of three possible items. I don't really care about going to the woodcarver right now. Um, so sigil swap is seeming like the best thing currently. Um, the I feel like maybe sacrificing the wolf cub and putting it on the warren so that the rabbit it produces um, will grow into something stronger. However, it's not a big deal, it's only one rabbit. I guess we could put it on a beehive and make even more fierce bees, and they would possibly have two fledgling sigils. I'm not positive it'll double up, um, but I'd like to try and see. So maybe I'll sacrifice this elk fawn instead, since they move around, which can make disastrous things um, happen. So let's put it on the bees since they're short-lived. Anyways, let's see what happens. getting out the beehive right away is our uh, best chance here. Um, the porcupine, so let's put down our pelt to block some of the heat from that move. Okay, now we got us some strong bee, so let's keep going. Oh, good, they're flying it. Um, let's get our be placed and continue on. Okay, looking good. Alright, let's see an ant queen. Um, so we can't use the frozen possum as a sacrifice yet, fortunately. Um, we could get it a flying ant down in front of the snowy fur, however, and I think that, that will work out. There we go. Ooh, duplication event. Ah, oh, fecundity. Um, what would we want to do that with? Perhaps. Um, to say the wolf cub or something, but the beehive, making another beehive sounds pretty nice. So, or we could have 
bifurcated or that double strike added on to something else. Um, whew, that's a hard one. Let's do this for now and um, to not duplicate or to not duplicate. Um, getting another beehive for defense and bee generation sounds nice. Or would I rather do a sigil swap? Um, the fledgling going on to field mice and remaining on it would overall be, I think, a bit more powerful because they would become like three and three, and the card that they make would also be three and three. But the blood cost, you know, of course, goes up. Um, so that's not good. I'm almost tempted to say, let's stick with the wolf cub as it is. Um, however, I guess I could take the field mice's um, fecundity off of it and put it on the wolf cub, and that will be a better swap. Um, I don't see anything that immediately sounds like a better idea. I think this will get more raw power on the board. I do it this way. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess let's get the amphibian head and we'll stick with insect with fledgling. Okay. Trapper is our next boss. Hopefully we can get a beehive down quickly and uh, generate bees to help us take out the traps that are going to be frustrating us. They're nice, low-cost units. Nope, looks like we're not going to get so lucky. Um, perhaps we put down a flying ant in front of the um, leaping trap. We'll just have to kind of go from there. Um, and Ant Queen, the pack rat, we're going to have to come later. So I'm going to use the hook to pull these guys over. I think we're going to be in trouble without it. Um, and we'll block off the attack over here. other guy. Okay. And we can get up and down another one. So let's do this route and we won't have quite enough to make it to the next spot. That adder is going to get us. both of these and we need to get rid of the adder if we can um, and even if we use the airborne they're still going to get us so I think that's just going to be how it goes at least we got a trap out of it alright a wolf cub that'll be enough power to take out our adder and then we'll have the community which will let us get another one. So that's good. I fell for my trap card. Alright, time for another wolf. And we'll have four cards to trade. We could have had five, but I think this will be just fine. Okay, 
so we have a board of trade. Um, this elf that can kill and a hit looks like a big threat, so this coyote with the double strikes will take them on for sure. Um, spiky wild bull doesn't seem like a big deal. Um, and these guys aren't either, so let's just take out these rows and I think that our wolves are gonna win in one turn anyways. So we can put the coyote here just for fun. And is there anything else we can play? Maybe just a kingfisher. Um, that'll do close to about all the damage we can do in what we have. There we go. Good. And I really need to get to uh, the trapper so I can get pelts and get ready to uh, trade because I'm about to overrun. All right, a river snapper and a sparrow and a pronghorn. Hmm. Well, let's see. A river snapper would be kind of interesting if I could get it on the board with the millworm. That'd be one in ten. So I think I'll take it since it's it is a little bit of a higher cost, being two blood and all, but. If I can use the millworm and it becomes 1 in 10, that would be outstanding. Alright, sadly I've only got one pelt to trade at this moment. Um, ooh, I could get a Gek and get it powered up as well. It is getting a little bit late though. Um, there's an Ouroboros opportunity that's undying. Um, putting that on say a flying ant or something to keep them coming with our generation would be pretty sweet um so let's see if we had the geck and we can see if there's anything we'd want to put on it i don't think so strange larva is also an insect so let's go with it it might have that double sigil thing that I was hoping for. And we could duplicate something now, or we could head up our way to trade in stuff and get some items and stuff along the way. Um, that might be our best bet. I don't know if duplicating is going to help our situation a whole lot. Alright, good. I think that's a decent set of items. Porcupine, and we have a river snapper, um, and a flying ant, so could block off this porcupine out of way, but I think I'd rather get the flying ant on the board since it's going to get stronger, and then we'll just roll with it from here. Oh, a dire wolf. That quickly, huh? That's not very nice. Um, well, I guess getting a river snapper on make a lot of help. Um, the skunk isn't going to be too good either, but we do have a boulder here that can kind of bail us out, so I think that I might need to use it. Um, and this river snapper could be working on the porcupine area as well. So let's do that. We'll start it over there and uh, yeah, kind of continue. And it's not the best we can do for the moment. I think we'll have to use a boulder where that dire wolf is going to strike here in a minute. Okay, boulder time. And yeah, here we go. I'm starting to feel like this is going to be just too much of a um, fight for me to be able to win. But let's just see where we go. Um, a wee little rabbit. Okay. Um, so we could get a skunk and make that porcupine weaker. Um, it would only last a turn against the dire wolf, but we could block off the skunk at least. And let's see what happens. I don't think I'll be able to win this one. It's just looking too overwhelming. Alright, a millworm. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, I think that's GG. <laughs> wow. That was overwhelming. Luck of the draw. Alright, hopefully we can get us some good pelts of what we have right now. There we go. That's enough pelts to uh, get us a few good trade-ins, I think. Um, I don't think I have anything to sacrifice, but let's see if we actually have a sigil swap that makes sense. Um, we could put... Do we want to put something on the strange larva? Maybe stinky or something? Um, or even... Let's see, does millworm make sense on anybody? I don't think it's morsel makes any sense. Um, pack rat, its abilities could be put on something cheaper, like one of the ants, and get us items more easily, um, perhaps. Hmm. Let's see. Sacrifice wise, I don't immediately feel like. I'd want to lose a card just for a bone token. Um, the Warren just, I don't know, maybe I could sacrifice it and put it on flying it instead. Let's just see what our options are. I think either way we're heading this way. Hmm. Maybe Stinky on the Strange Larva so that it has best opportunity to uh, grow up. That'll reduce an attacking enemy's um, power by 1 HP, and since it already has 3, I think that that's got a chance to last, you know, two turns, hopefully. Alright, a mole and a pronghorn, and we have a wolf cub, thankfully, so if we can get it on the board, I think it will be safe, so let's go ahead and get it started. And... Um, that'll be all we can do for now. Okay. And we can get us another wolf cub attacker going. Um, we'll aim it squarely at the mole, and the pronghorn will move over, and the elk fawn will move down. So I think that that's about all we can expect to happen now. Oh, jeez. Holy moly. Um, well, if you play the Flying Ant, and if we use our fan, it'll definitely be over. Um, let me see what damage we get here. Okay, we're down by one, so we would get plus four, and that's not enough to clear it, and the creatures they have coming in could really, uh, hit us hard. So I'm afraid that's not going to be enough, so let's use our little fan here. Um, Let's see what happens. Okay. Well, we are now without any items. Ah, oh, nice, an alpha. Okay. Um, let's see. If we had a wolf and it had, like, double fledgling or something, that'd be interesting, but... I think it, we're just still gonna stick with what we've had all along. Close to the end here. Hopefully our final fights aren't gonna be insane. I haven't seen any fungi events either on the board, I just noticed. Um, that's interesting. So... Could play the Warren to block the Coyote's attack and also get a flying ant down. So let's go for that. feeling too good. I'm feeling a little bit naked here without an item to help me out. Now that I see they have a wolf already, that's uh, not a good sign at all. Um, it might be worth playing the pack rat just to get um, another item and have a chance here. Could take out both of the coyotes in one run. However, that wolf is going to do three damage and then maybe four with the porcupine. 
Yeah, it's gonna be three otherwise, and we lose our pack rat though, so. Huh, might be a misplay, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, good. We're gonna have to use it. I really don't see any other way out of this. Okay. Um, and let's just, uh, I guess, grab a squirrel, and um, our pack rat is gonna do a hit, and the wolf is gonna come in and do a hit too, so let's just see what happens, I guess. Rabbit pelt and block for one turn and get plus one overall. Okay. And a beehive. Okay. That can block the wolf for a little bit and generate some stuff for us. Um, so that's good. Um, I get we had no choice but to use him from the wolf to have a chance. And. Yeah, okay, Packrat should take out Sparrow, um, however, Alpha's gonna come in and um, power up the Rabbit and the Wolf, which is not good, because that may do enough damage to take us out. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's pretty close. Um, Elder Beehive is going to attack. It's going to take out the wolf and damage the porcupine some. Packrat's going to take out the alpha and then the coyote's going to move in and rabbit will be depowered, thankfully. Um, so I think we want to put the bee in this lane, but then we don't want double alphas going on. That's going to be awful. So we could have it retain its current lane. Um, so it could get stronger. Alpha's going to take it out anyways. Um, and that pack rat's going to take out that alpha too. Um, well, let's see. We're only one, one attack away from dying here, however. So I'm trying to see what can we do to help. And unfortunately, I'm not seeing a way out of it. Um, we will get a B on this turn if we survive it, and Packrat will take out that one, Cody will come in and take out the Packrat, the Rabbit would be de-energized, um, however the Porcupine is still going to do damage to us, so I guess blocking the Porcupine? makes a sense for the turn, and um, that might leave us with an opportunity in the next hand. Let's just see how it goes. Okay. We're still not to a great situation here, but we're getting enough cards in our hand to start making a difference, I think. Um, the Ant Queen could be deployed, and we could get something attacking the Porcupine. Um, and the Ant Queen will take out the Coyote and get stronger. Um, I think that's leaving us with a chance. So let's go for that to start. And now we have a Worker Ant which can actually stand up to the porcupine um, if we were to play it. And how are we doing on damage? Okay, we're still not positive yet. So we could get the worker ant on the board and um, it would kill the porcupine, take out a damage, and then a coyote would be in our path. And we'd have an ant queen, or the ant queen would be able to attack next turn. Elder Beehive should be able to attack next turn in that lane too. It looks like they might be out of cards. Um, so, considering putting the bee down, it's going to die. So, I think we have to do the worker ant in that spot to have a chance. Okay, um, that's it for now. 
Alright, got another B. Good. Alright, so there's enough here to make a recovery. And let's get another card from here. The River Snapper. Alright. Um, yeah, I can do nothing and be on a positive track from now on. I just need to start getting enough cards in my hand to uh, deploy what I've got here effectively. So let's put out the River Snapper now. And you can start blocking that coyote and get rid of it too. I'm surprised that AI hasn't um, given up yet, actually. I guess it just decided to let me win since I was wanting to turn away. Okay, so a fungi event and a sigil swap. I could put the alpha's ability on somebody low powered, like the ant queen or. Um, maybe a flying ant or something that, um, maybe the beehive makes sense because we want it on the board. Um, and we could get items at the end. However, I'm afraid to go into a boss fight without any items, so let's go this way instead. That was pretty hard, um, in the previous fight. I didn't think I was going to make it. I was so scared. Um. Skink Sigil could be more useful. Rattler does have some power though. Um, I feel like we should take the Skink overall. Let's get some items. Come on. Good items. Let's go. Um, Boulder sounds good. Boulder again, I suppose. And card cutting. Okay. I don't know if we have any duplicates. Or maybe we do. Um, we could have a strong rabbit pelt situation. <laughs> um, let's see. Flying ant that's doubled up. Well, I mean, that sounds kind of nice actually. Let's just do it. Um, then we get stronger and this gives it some viability that wouldn't have had before. Um, and I also have a chance to trade in my pelts in right before the final boss. Um, so, yeah, I think we have a good chance. Okay. This is going to be tough, tough, tough. We got a wolf incoming right away. Um, maybe getting the skink down, since we know it's going to run away, would be good. Or maybe even playing a boulder and having the skink over here in this lane, perhaps. Um, yeah, let's do that. So we'll do a boulder. And we'll have a skink over here in this lane doing some damage, and we'll go from there. Okay. Um, let's draw from here, and we'll get a wolf pelt. It's not particularly handy. Oh, strong cards are coming out now. Um, let's see. Could block this guy off, and I'm afraid to let that wolf cub grow up. Like I kind of want to use his scissors on it. Um, or a skink. Fortunately, it's going to be a problem here. It's not going to be able to use its ability. Um, so let's see. Well, kind of at a bad state now. Um, River Snapper could be put in front of the wolf to block it for a couple turns. Um, but then we got a wolf cub coming in right behind it. So I kind of hate to sacrifice a skink for it. But we could put the golden pelt down, I suppose, would be another way to think of that. Um, Boulder could buy us a little bit of time and we could play the River Otter. River Snapper um, later. Let's, uh, I guess let's do another cheap pelt in front of the wolf, and the skink will get attacked by the wolf cub, but it will take it out ultimately. So I think it, it might be okay. Okay, um, I definitely miscalculated there. I should have put the boulder down. I don't know what I was thinking. 
Um, I guess just getting excited. So with Wriggling Tail isn't going to help stop anything. Now we have three wolf problem. <laughs> um, and we got to get rid of them. They're going to take us out. So River Snapper can help. Um, these guys can attack and go from there. What do we get here? Another pelt. Um, let's do, I guess, we're so close to getting to the next phase, I'm afraid to overplay my hand here. Um, can we sacrifice the Wrigley Tail? We can. So we could do that to get rid of the Wolf Cub. Skink will get a hit on that wolf and weaken it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And that will potentially lead to some damage there. Um, and we could cut another card uh, to get the skink to do a plus one. Um, just afraid of what might be coming down the lane, however. Um, if it had a plus one, that put me only one tooth away from getting into phase two, however. So I guess I'll, I'll do it um, for better or for worse. And that wolf cub is going to move over. Um, so that may have been a mistake. Let's just see what happens, I guess. Yep. Okay. At least the tail is blocking something from advancing over there, so maybe, maybe this will be okay. Um, let's draw this one, and we get a millworm. Um, nothing to sacrifice with that. It can, yeah, we'll just have to put some stuff that blocks attacks, I think, down. So, time for a boulder, I suppose, and we'll have that block. That grizzly is going to be an issue. Um, the millworm could get played and start attacking the mule, and maybe we'll have us a chance there. So, and something could come along in a turn that we get used um, power up. But I'm not feeling very good about this. Um, this is a lot of power on their side coming at us now. So, um, we could get this strong flying ant um, and for our next phase however um, it would be 8 power or 8 um, defense its power is going to be weak but it would be something um, might buy us enough time to like use a pelt right there I don't know if we have any other chance really because if we get damaged by that wolf we're going to be in trouble and we're going to lose our river snapper here in a moment as well so, let's see, if the Elder Millworm does a hit, um, that's good, but we don't have like another four turns to wait with what we have, so I think I'm going to have to do something like this, and we can put down, oh, the Millworm did add to the Flying Ant, so that's good. That should put us in the next phase, and... Um, I'll go ahead and use the golden pelt for better or worse, because we need to have that lane blocked from the wolf. Okay. Alright. Um, okay, an ant queen. Oh, yeah, we're screwed. Um, <laughs> uh, Wow, yeah, sad to see it come to this, but they weren't kidding when they said hard mode. Like, this is it. Goodbye, farewell. Big goof. Wow. I had such a good hand, too, but I want to look at the uh, points real quick and see if there's something better we can do as far as reducing our overall pain. Um, feeling like maybe one more difficult, um, all totem battles, and then that leaves us with just 10 points. Don't really care about the clover, and um, 
tip scales is really rough, so I'd prefer not to do that. Um, no boss rares I think I could get by with. And um, let's see, perhaps trading one of these will get us, we're only five points away if we do that. So I just don't know about if the hook is worth it. I mean, it's a one use thing, so maybe this set would be okay. So more difficult, all totem, no boss rares. Um, and no clover, no hook. I think that might be how I play next time to get our 60 point challenge because I think that the more difficult was outsized. And uh, yeah, I almost never use clover anyways and the hook is a one time use thing. So uh, this might be enough. Tip scales is really hard. I really don't want to do that. Um, I mean, I could take off more difficult and put that on there and like say get back the hook but i mean every single match having tip scales is so hard so i think i'd rather go with more difficult and like so okay we'll see um what we do next time thanks for watching it's been s tier rank follow me on twitch and twitter at s tier rank and i'll have a replay on youtube soon thanks and have a good day